I'm going to just go ahead and see if this thing comes alive. CEG4 booting up. Okay, it is alive. Okay, it's time to finish the install of this second guy. I've been waiting on parts. I finally got uh, all the circuit breakers and uh, the uh, load centers I need. So I've got two of these guys, each with a uh, 125 amp breaker and two 60 amp breakers and I'm going to mount one over here on the input from the grid and then branch out to the two different inverters and I'm going to put the second one over here that each inverter will feed and then I will send back out to the grid so uh, it's getting hot and I got all the fans running air conditioner running and it's still hot in there so I got to get busy I need to shut the grid off to get this thing wired in. First I need to move this. This is the grid that goes over to the 6K. So I need to move it out of the way so I can drill a bigger hole right here to mount this guy. And then route the, the, uh, the grid wires right here into that. And then back up to the inverter and then again over to this inverter. But, when I turn off the grid, this building is going to go dark. Except for, I've got the 6K at the other end of these wires. And I can use the grid for about an hour, charge the batteries up, and that'll give me lights and air conditioning for an hour while I work around in here. So that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> okay, since neutral doesn't need to go into any of the, the boxes, I'm just going to run neutral from one all the way over to the other and then that'll be the neutral bus over there in the, in the first inverter. Okay, I'm about done for today. I got one of the the uh, combiner boxes in here. Uh, here's a 125 amp for the grid coming in and uh, it'll come in right here and then it'll go out through the 60 amp breaker to this inverter and then this 60 amp breaker out to this inverter and then I've got a 40 amp here for the uh, 6000 XP. Okay, <clears throat> I got this guy wired up to this uh, inverter and uh, originally I had ordered 60 amp breakers for uh, the inputs from the or the outputs to both inverters but 2 watt cable will not fit into a 60 amp breaker. Uh, shit, I put them away. Anyhow, I'm going to send those back to Amazon and get me 100 amp. The 2 watt cable is what I intended to, to use, so uh, I'm not going to switch to a lower uh, gauge wire. So, anyhow, I've got this one done. I'm waiting on uh, four more. 100 amp breakers and then I've got uh, another one of these to do for the outputs from the inverters that one in there is uh, for the inputs this is for the outputs what I need to do is punch a uh, two, two inch hole here here and here uh, you drill the pilot hole first, you know, stick it up to the cable trough and then mark where the pilot holes are so I can line these up perfectly. Now, I need to shut down everything in here except for I'm going to keep the, uh, the uh, 6000 6, XP. So that's my lights and everything throughout here but uh, I can shut down both of these inverters and their solar panels and the grid and I still have uh, enough batteries left to keep me going until I can uh, move all this stuff out of here and get this uh, get 
this box up there is why the market drill holes. Okay, without these battery racks in here, I can actually sweep up the floor. And I've got a lot more room to work. Uh, I've got the battery racks rolled out here. I got that one over there hooked up to the 6000 XP, so I've got lights and air conditioning for probably eight hours. So, uh, I need to finish up in here. And I've got the grid coming in here to this top breaker, which is 125 amps. And then uh, this goes to inverter number one, the master. It's 100, well, it's 125, but it should be 100. And then this is 100, it goes over to the slave inverter. And uh, uh, I've got this 40 amp, which goes over to my 6000 XP. So I can shut down the grid going to any one of these inverters or all of them at one time. Just mounting this guy up. I'm using these things here and these uh, lock nuts. And the reason I'm using these is because I got a rib on the underside, so you only need, need one lock nut. I'm waiting on Amazon to deliver four more 100 amp breakers so that I can go ahead and hook this up, button it up, and fire up the system, see if it works. And the batteries in here, we'll put the batteries against this wall. Uh, the shorter one can sit over here because it's short enough that I can open and close the door. And the tall one will sit over in the corner. The grid coming in, and that's the, uh, the uh, solar going back out to the house. And uh, all that's left now, I've got 10 more panels to put up as soon as they finish the carport outside. Okay, I'm all done. Until next time, they're putting up a carport outside and that'll be where I'm going to put my next uh, set of solar panels. But for now, uh, I've got my 12 batteries charged, uh, both inverters are paired up, and the master is uh, sending stuff back to the house. The, <clears throat> the way I've got these batteries hooked up is I've got the positive lead up here on high on the, the bus bar, the negative lead down there on the bus bar and same thing in, in this rack here and these go over to a uh, bus bar in here and then from the, those two bus bars uh, uh, get the positive and negative going to each one of these I still need to do a second uh, set of bus or uh, cables to go from each one of these down to the bus bars but I ran out of time and I've got to make a couple more cables this is where everything comes together this is where the grid comes in right here to this 125 amp breaker and this is L1 on this side and L2 on this side and it alternates L1, L2, L1, L2 so be sure to line your breakers up so that there's L2 is across from L2 otherwise whenever you go into the, the transfer switch does a switch you're going to short L1 to L2. Make sure that L2 is opposite L2 on uh, on all of the breakers. Uh, 125 amp, 100 and 100. Uh, this 40 I had. This is like 120 dollars. Uh, these are about 75 dollars each. So and the panel is 79 dollars. So we're looking at like 200, 250 dollars here and here. This is where the, the inverters send uh, electricity back to the house. 100 amp here, 100 amp here. That's the master inverter. This is the slave. And they get paired up and sent back to the house with this 125 amp breaker. And there's number one. And now I've got to get the second one up and uh, then I'll be done. And the second one's done. So, and it didn't break anything. So this is it. I'm finished until they get the carport up. So now it's time to just go set in the house in the under the air conditioner. Okay, I just got finished uh, doing my uh, install on my second 18k PV, and there was a few things that confused me before I I got them running together, and I, I had to go back to the manual or I had to go ask questions online. And uh, the first thing is 
ensure that they both had the same firmware. The second one I got I had, uh, it was a refurbished unit and it had some experimental uh, firmware on it. And uh, so I, I got the, uh, the same firmware that's on the original, it's uh, 1919 is the version number. And that's on both of them now. Uh, so I'm sure they both have the same firmware. Uh, set the first one to master and the second one to slave. And then make sure they, the, you set both of them to share battery. And uh, on the cabling, the, the share cabling, on the master, it's the right hand uh, port goes to the left hand port on the slave, and then the left hand one goes to the right hand on the slave. That's how I remembered how to do it. And then on both of them, you flip the communication switches up. So uh, I had to ask on, on that to figure out which one to do, because the first time I tried it, it didn't work. Uh, then uh, I said, so set them both to share the battery. And then uh, on the outputs, um, before you turn on the outputs, make sure that you've got L1 going to L1 and L2 going to L2. Otherwise, you're going to have sparks and fire. Uh, I brought my outputs and my inputs into breaker boxes. And on the breaker box, I, uh, I, I brought the, the, the grid in on a 125 amp breaker and then a 100 amp breaker going uh, to each of the, the two inverters. So uh, in the breaker boxes, the, the, the first set of contacts is L1, then L2, L1, L2, L1, L2S, and so on. So make sure that when you put the, the two breakers for, L, for the master and the slave, L2 is opposite L2 and L1 is opposite L2. Otherwise, if you do this, as soon as you turn on the output breaker, you're going to short the whole system out. So L1 and L2 doesn't need to be lined up in those. So I did that on both the inputs and the outputs. The, the input is 125 amps coming in, split, going 100 amps to each inverter, and then the outputs of each inverter goes into a 100 amp breaker, into a breaker box, and a 125 amp breaker goes back to my house. So that's the way it's wired up. So I'm done. It's working. It's been supplying the power to the house now for about two days. Uh, I'm building a uh, carport around the back side and around the one side of my workshop. It's going to give me about 800 square feet of roof space to put more solar panels on. And uh, so that's my next project. I need, I've got 12 batteries right now. Well, I've actually got 14, but two of them are being used for my 6,000 XP. So I need more batteries and I need a little bit more solar and I will be done. I will be completely off grid, I think. Right now, as it stands, I, I can go a day and a half, maybe two days, uh, depending on if they're hot days or cool days, without sunshine before I need to charge from the grid. But if, if I've got plenty of sunshine every day, I don't need to grid at all. So anyhow, uh, stay tuned. I'll be uh, posting more if I get, when I get my new batteries and I get everything hooked up.